Let that beat drop. Just wait for it. Is that smooth or what, man? It's so good. I'm pretty sure I got the ult on. Hold on. Yeah, that took that's, off. That was off. What do you think? I think it's better with the ult on. More, more, more bass. Right? Yeah, it fills it up more. How does this sound though? So let's say you never heard, let's turn it down a little bit. Oh, where's the, okay, there it is. Let's say you never heard Alt 2 before. Or Alt. Oh, just like that? Just yeah. how it is with it off? Yeah. It's, it still sounds good. So how would you rank this thing? In terms of what? Like with Alt 0, that's not a thing, but like Alt is off, right? Where would you rank this thing? Like, is this still a good buy with Alt off? I say so. Would you consider it the best $100 speaker? Oh, for sure, definitely. With alt off? For $100, I would say so, yes. Okay. I think so. So now, that was what, I'm gonna let you hear it again with alt off. I wouldn't be mad. Are you getting lows right now? I'm getting it. I can hear it from here. All right, well I got a base sandwich for you right now. Yeah, now it just fills it up more. It's just, I can feel it in my pores. Okay. So you're telling me even with, oh, that's my phone. <laughs> so you're telling me even with the alt off, stop, I'm trying to shoot a video. Okay, even with alt off, Wilson says this is still the best $100 speaker out there. Is that true? I, I, I don't want to lie on you, man. No, no, I would stand on that throne. So now I press alt and turn alt on. Now what happens? Oh man, you got to get it for a hundred bucks. hundred <laughs> percent. We could just turn the camera off and just walk out of here with that statement right there. But I'm not going to do that because y'all know I like to talk about it. I like to talk a lot, bro. Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Damn, I love this speaker, Richardson. Look, man, I know we've been talking about best $100 speaker, and that is because this thing does not cost $130 anymore. As of the shooting of this video, I looked online, man, for the last week. As of the shooting of this video, this thing is on sale on Amazon for $98, I believe. You can check me in the, check the link. Matter of fact, click them links, bro. Every time you click them links, your boy gets paid, man. I gotta eat. <laughs> I gotta eat, Wilson. <laughs> I get paid like a thousand dollars per click, man. I think they gave me a demotion, man. I used to get paid a, like like fifty five hundred per click. Now I get paid a <laughs> thousand. So I'll click the link for you. Don't you gonna click the link? I got you. I don't even worry about you. Wilson gonna click the link for me. <laughs> now <laughs> let's let's keep talking about this speaker. Dude, we've been wilding out on these videos. We man. have, man. <laughs> we have, definitely. <laughs> oh, man, but all seriousness, man, I did look at it. I don't know why I looked at it on Amazon, but I saw it was 98 bucks. I was like, damn, this thing cost $130 when it first came out on sale. And so I started to look at it because I was like, okay, so it's $100. So what else out there is $100? And I looked at the JBL Flip 6, $130. It's not on sale right now. Um, and, and that's what this actually compares to. And then I looked at the JBL Charge 5, which is like 180 something, 179, 179. That's still cheaper or more expensive than this. Then I looked over at Soundcore because everybody should know by now that Sony, Soundcore, and JBL are my favorite speaker manufacturers. So I looked at the, my big three and saw that the uh, Soundcore, what is it, Motion 300? Love that speaker. That thing is like, I think it's about 130 bucks, right? So none of them are on sale right now, but this one is. <laughs> and even still, I would still choose this one because I did a video on it. You should definitely check that out. And this, this speaker right here is a champ. And it's even more of a champ now because you get more value. Speaking of value, I keep forgetting to talk about this, man, but it is so important to a lot of people. Have you got, you guys have heard of IPX67, right? Where it's dustproof and waterproof up to like, what is it, three meters or something like that? Uh, I think. 30 meters? I think it's 30. Something. 30 meters for like 30 minutes or something like that. Whatever. Google it and tell me I'm wrong in the comments. You guys are good for that. But um, this thing's actually rust proof. Sony did that. Oh, they did it for that one too? Yes. Oh, rust proof. Nice. Because they have, I think San Francisco or San Diego, that's where one of their offices is. And they have a lot of employees that go out with their speakers and they get rusted out because, you know, the, even though it's waterproof and stuff, like the sand, not the sand, but the salt, you know, it'll rust your crap in the inside. So I was like, you know what, let's just make them rust proof too. So they told me these things are rust proof. They don't really like advertise it as big as they should because I think that's a big factor for a lot of people. Dude, we're talking 
whole West Coast. It was it the, the Pacific Northwest? You know, that's coast. You know what I'm saying? You got the New York coast and then you got the Florida coast. I don't know about you Florida people, though. You guys are different. <laughs> Just throwing shade in there. Dude, the Florida people, man, they are so special, man. Remember when we watched Noodling last week? Oh, my God. I guarantee you that was in Florida. Oh, my God. I guarantee you that <laughs> happened in Florida. Again. <laughs> Don't nobody be doing that. It's Alabama and Florida that be doing that mess, man. <laughs> Anyways, if you go noodling, you can take you can take your Sony Oldfield one. You can stick it in the water, you too. Can stick, you can noodle with this thing. It's this... <laughs> You can noodle with this thing. This thing would be great to go noodling with. Plus, it's got this big bright color, so if you drop it, it's going to float, and you can just see it before the catfish gets it. This thing is awesome. Super durable. Wilson, since you've been here today, how many times have I dropped this thing from this high? Like four times. Right? Yeah. I know, right? It's, just, it's freaking durable, dude. <laughs> and it just picks up, and it just keeps playing. Dude. This thing is a freaking beast. I love this speaker, man. Every time I'm like doing stuff around the house, and I need a speaker real quick. So I, I got a, you know, an old Field 7 here, and then I got a boom box, a JBL boom box. Y'all should know, I got a lot of speakers to choose from. This one actually lives in my garage. This one now lives in the box. <laughs> but I got a lot of speakers to choose from. But this is the one I pick up because it's, you know, I can just grab it real quick. And I love the design and the color, and I freaking love that sound. But I just had to come on here real quick. How long we've been recording? Seven minutes. All right, that ain't too bad. Y'all can sit down for seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, mean, I just wanted to come on here real quick, tell you that this thing was on sale, which now makes it the best $100 speaker out there. Tell me something better for $100 than this right now in the comments. I sincerely would not love to know because I checked. I looked at Bose, uh, Marshall, who else makes speakers? Uh, there's, uh, uh, oh my God, you're throwing me on the spot. Of course it's JBL. Nobody else worth talking about, right? Yeah, no. You got Bose, Marshall, uh, Sony, Soundcore. Unless you get another Tribit. And I swear to God, you say Tribit again. <laughs> oh, it's Tribit and Tribit? I, I swear to God, dude. I will put you in your stomach. I freaking hate hearing the Tribit comments. <laughs> dude, the Tribit store box is not compared to this at $100. No, this, this trash is the, the storm box. Pro, whatever. It's not happening. Just face it. Just face it. Dang. Check it out. Links in the description. I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. I just know that if I had $100 and I needed a speaker that sounded good and did everything, including go noodling with me, I'm picking this bad boy up for $100. Now, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.